Hello everyone, Flash Notion back for another reaction to One Punch Man. <laughs> and uh yeah, taking a look at episodes five and six. Last time uh we we beat up a lot of bad guys and uh now we're uh we're going uh to uh we're going to register with like the official hero place there. So like yeah, that should be interesting. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I mean, if we're meeting some other, like, hero types, then yeah, it, it could certainly be interesting. Because so far all we've got is, uh... Well, we've gotten three. We've got Saitama, we've gotten, uh, Genos, and we've gotten, uh, the, the bike rider guy. Who's not even really a superhero. He's just a guy. <laughs> um... I mean, they they teased us with a couple uh, at, in the first episode, but then they they didn't follow up on that at all yet. So, yeah, kind of kind of hope we get to see something cool, or maybe not. Maybe all the other ones will be super lame. <laughs> um, but I guess we'll see. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just get to it. I mean, I don't really have too much to say, so. We will begin in three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and first things first, go ahead and find the list of characters and try and find... Okay, Tornado. Uh, huh. Okay. Yeah, okay. I uh, don't really recognize the name off the top of my head. Should I do additional voices for regular show? Uh, I'm looking up Tornado there first. Hmm. Vivian from the Seven Deadly Sins. Which one was Vivian? I feel like I remember Vivian as a character, but I don't. Well, let's let's look it up. Hmm. Hmm. Characters. Seven Deadly Sins. All right. Let's see. Yeah. Uh. I think she would have been down in here in the Leonis Kingdom. Hmm. No. Uh. Vivian. Oh right. Okay. I I know who she is. She's the she's the uh, fucking Yandere chick. Okay. Sure. Yeah. I I remember her. Been in a few films. But yeah. Nothing I would really recognize her from. Uh, okay, so let's see here. That's the class S hero. Okay, uh, what about snake bite, dude? Uh, anything I'd recognize him from, maybe? Hmm. He's been around for a while. Doing stuff. Uh, he was gallant in Seven Deadly Sins. Man. Oh, Klein in SAO. Nice. Okay. Hmm. Gallon. Right, Gallon was the the demon. Okay, I I forgot which one it was, but yeah, I remember it now. Uh, nothing in. Nothing notable in uh. Um, like non anime stuff. Oh, wait. Hmm, okay, nothing there. Yeah, nothing, anything else. Okay. So, not too much I'd know him from. Uh, oh, uh, I think this guy it must be the, uh, number, the number one. Nope, that guy doesn't even warrant a page on here. Okay, that sucks to be him then. Uh, what about, uh... Speed of sound sonic. Uh, 
Hmm. Villains and monsters. Hmm. 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 Ah, okay. Ta Taurus, Terra Sands. Okay. All right, let's see. What would she have been in that I would know? No, nothing under regular animation. Nothing under animated films. Okay. Seven Deadly Sins Luigi? Must have been like a little kid or something. Anything else at all? What the heck? <laughs> okay, so <laughs> literally everything that I've looked up, none of these names have actually been in anything that I've actually watched. What the fuck? And yet all their voices sounded so familiar. Alright, well, that was an interesting set. Uh, like, they were... The first one was a little bit, you know, on the lesser side. I mean, the fight between... The the practice fight between Saitama and Genos was really fucking cool. And I liked, uh... I liked the new arm design that Genos had. Uh, that was... That was really, really fucking cool. Um... So... And, and of course, like, all the weapons they pulled out, like... Just... Damn. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. It really does seem like Saitama wasn't even trying. Uh... The sixth one... I mean, yeah, okay, so Sonic is gone, I guess, now. That's disappointing, I really liked him. Um, <laughs> but, well, maybe he'll break out again. He, he seems like a fun character that they might want to keep bringing back. Uh, the, uh, the rest of it there with... Uh, with um, the various other heroes, the seaweed monster. It's all very interesting, but it doesn't seem like it's not necessarily going to amount to anything in the short term here. With, uh, like, yeah, uh, just everybody's afraid of Saitama without actually knowing that it is Saitama. They think it's a, just some absurdly powerful monster, and that's leading to some rumors. Um but I do feel like in the long term, what it could lead to is it could lead to um, a, a bunch of bad guys, you know, actually grouping together for, like, their own protection and then becoming a legitimate threat later down the line. Um, it's always possible, I guess. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I mean, yeah, like, if if they... And if they imagine this threat's out there, like, I can I can easily see the Super Hero Association, or whatever they call it, uh, just trying to become more competent in order to, you know, combat the threat. Um. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I think... Hmm. Yeah, I think I can't say for sure what my favorite part of all this was but like it was all very interesting but like uh it, it does feel like things have kind of slowed down a bit now and we're kind of dirtling like we're we're lacking the driving force that the first four episodes kind of had right like like uh the first episode was all about uh He's li introducing Saitama and, like, his, like, just entire deal. Episode 2 is about Jetnos and, uh, introducing him. But then episode 3, we had, uh, uh, we actually had, uh, God damn it, the House of Evolution that we had to take care of. And then episode 4, we had Saitama... Uh, wanting to, you know, defend his, uh, his image, so to speak. And, like, would, with these two episodes, the through lines haven't been as clear? 
or even really maybe there. Like, like the first one, it, it wasn't really... Like, it never seemed like there was a question of whether or not Saitama was actually going to get into the, into the association, or, like, honestly, really, the idea of him being a higher rank is uh, slightly ridiculous. Obviously, he's going to start out low. Um, otherwise, it just wouldn't be as much fun. But, like, I don't know, I just... I didn't feel the suspense to it. And then... The rest of the episode, we introduced that Snek guy, and, like, nothing's happened with that yet, so it's all very weird. Um, and then with episode six, I mean, we kind of maybe had an idea of, like, oh, well, uh, Saitama needs to find some incident to resolve to gain some popularity or whatever, but, like, I don't know, it just, it, it didn't seem to work out. Or, and I don't even know if I'm, you know getting the events right. I might be mixing some stuff up here. It feels like I'm mixing some stuff up. Like, stuff from one episode is in another in my memory. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no. Like, the set was... The set was fun, but it wasn't as... Ex- hmm. I don't know what the right word is. Like, as gripping as the first four? Like, the first four all felt really important. These ones they feel like they're setting up something important, but that they themselves are not as important. Does that make sense? It's kind of like uh Well, it's kind of similar to like where we are in where I am in uh watching my hero right now. It's like we're going to we're getting to the thing where it's going to be epic and awesome and cool fights and like just a a, a storyline all coming together, but we're not there yet, and because of that, we just we, we're still we're still working our way through it. Um, yeah, I don't know how else to put it, but yeah, I mean, these two episodes were fine on their own, but like uh, as part of uh, in the context of like previous episodes, they don't feel as exciting. Um, but yeah, still some cool visuals, some cool moments, um, and f- some very funny moments as well. Uh, so yeah, I'm interested to see where it develops at least, <laughs> if it develops. Um, so, oh man, that's what it is. Maybe I'm starting to get to the point where like, I too want Saitama to have a good fight. Like, it's not just an in-universe thing anymore. I now want him to face some actual challenge. Because it doesn't seem like he is so far. At least not a meaningful one. Um, So, I mean, that can be fine. But, like... Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. I'm sorry. And on that note, uh... (laughs) Well, I guess I, uh... Need to, need to wrap this up then. Um, so yeah, that's been One Punch Man. It was fine, <laughs> and uh, you know I'll I'll be back very shortly to react to more of it. So yeah, keep coming back. Anyways, I'll see everybody next time. Bye bye. <laughs>